Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, of course, is the Scarander. And today we're going up against CB Hulk. And this is definitely a guy that uh, I tend to battle a lot, actually. We are very, very even in battle, so it's really fun going up against him. And uh, we decided to have an NU match, but he may or may not have brought the two Aria pokes, but they're not going to matter that much in this battle, so it's really fine, to be honest. So, looking at this team here, we got Braviary, Sligo, Freliator, Sangos, Delphox, and Steelix. And just overall, a very, very, like, hard-hitting team, so, um, I just need to try to avoid them off. I actually, when I made it this team, it was during my stream, I just threw pokes together. I may have, um, forgot to bring a defensive core, and, um... Really, I just need to be as threatening as possible to be able to fend him off properly. So look at my team here, I got Lapras, Golurk, Armaldo, Carnivine, Kadabra, and Zebra Strike. And uh, yeah, my overall strategy is to uh, just start with Lapras, who actually can hit everything with super effective damage besides the Zangus. And uh, have it as a suicide lead and just do as much damage as possible and then just see what happens. My Golurk is a specially offensive one, so it can't fend off as properly as it should have. And my Amaldo is actually, it is a defensive wall, but I actually forgot to EV train this one for some reason. So, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's going to be actually kind of funny. And besides that, the Carnivine is awesome. It actually is a defensive core, but um, it's not that good. It's definitely... It, for this battle, it's very limited because of the super effective damage against it. But other than that, you know, I'm just going to do the best of my abilities to avoid him off and see if I actually can come out on top. So, with all this, my guys, let's go. So, yeah, at the get-go here, he is actually just going to start with the Steelix, and that is really okay. I'm just gonna go for Surf for doing super effective damage and actually hoping for him to either go for Stealth Rocks or maybe try to attack me. If he does so, then that's fine. Uh, so anyway, Mega Evolution is here, Mega Steelix is the awesome poke is here, of course. And uh, yeah, like I said, Surf is coming. I do not take this one out, actually. I thought I would, but I don't. But he's actually gonna go for Stealth Rocks. And um, after this, I felt like Deep Freeze or Freeze Dry should do enough to take him out. But actually, decided to switch out to Sligo. So, um, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's super effective damage there too, but of course, Eviolite makes this thing super bulky, even though I am, I am calm with, uh, fully invested in, uh, uh, special attack and special defense and assault vest, um, this freeze right still doesn't do enough, and it's not even a treat KO, and it's gonna show me the rest now, and I was like, oh no, <laughs> that's too bad, that is really too bad, but at the same time, um, I just can keep going and attack him. He ne he needs to get a new footing, and he knows that it's not like his Lego can actually win this phase off. So he's gonna go back to Steelix and um, fodder it off. Uh, that is really okay because Steelix is not a huge like it doesn't do too much to my team, so he has no real use of it to be honest. And he's gonna bring the Del Fox and actually go for Fire Blast Homer for me to switch out. But like I said, it is a suicide lead. I take that Fire Blast like a champ. And uh, yeah, Surf doesn't take it out, and that is really that is really frustrating. So he's gonna go for Solar Beam here, which is gonna be Power Herb boosted, and um, with that, it's gonna steal my Assault Vest, which means that my Free Stride that I'm going for here is not gonna be able to take him out. But um, luckily for me, I do pack the Ice Shot, so in that combination, I will actually be able to take the one out. So yeah, Lapras is on a roll. But. Due to the Stealth Rocks, I can't really you know, switch this one out, so I'm just going to go for an Ice Shot, getting some last effort damage on the Sangus. And uh, he went for knockoff, and due to my item being gone, it is actually not able to take me out. But it does pack the Quick Attack, and well, of course it won't take any more residual damage. So that is more than okay, it really is. So, yeah, at this point, I was just thinking, alright, I'm all in the like, breaking through his team, so I can just bring my Kadabra and the... Uh, Utilize my sash to go for a side shock, and maybe Sligo is gonna come in. I at least hope so. So I went for a side shock, and it is not able to do half. And I decided to switch out in case this is a rest sleep talk because I don't want to break my sash. I'm just gonna go with my Galvatron, the specs and most evilest of Golux. And uh, yeah, I just decided to go for an ice beam. Um, basically. I just wanted the super effective damage, and uh, I might have over predicted a bit here because 
I was really thinking that he was going to switch out to his or to you know whatever. So I just went for Blitzel or Zebra Strike to get some momentum, but he will stay in and go for an Ice Beam. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> that is that is really bad. And of course, I have no way of hitting this thing because every move that I have is resisted because of the Dragon type. And so I force to switch out. So I'm gonna go to my Disease 19, which is my Armaldo. And like I said, this thing wasn't EV trained, and this Dragon Pulse did way, way more than it should have. <laughs> so yeah, very, very bad play of me here to actually fire off my Armaldo, which might have been an only real response to the um, to the Kadabra, to be honest. But anyway, I do get the Slay right away, which is extremely important. And uh, after that, he will go to his Feraliator. And I just went for an energy ball, just hoping for doing some super effective damage and that he was gonna go for Dragon Dance. He doesn't go for Dragon Dance, so that's fine. But at this point, I was like, alright, I still can't take out the Sangus. I need to switch out, right? So I was thinking that at least my um, German troll could deal with him. But he actually went for a Crunch instead of an Aqua Jet or anything like that, which was... I was really surprised by this. And of course, in combination with Ice Punch he's gonna follow it up with, it is gonna be enough to take out my Carnivine, so yeah, not not too not too good there really. So another defensive wall is gonna go down, and I'm going back to Chris Nick, and basically I should have just stayed in and finished it off and not lose my Carnivine like that because the result was still the same here, and uh, yeah, just shit, that wasn't good at all actually. So yeah, anyway, he only got the Braviary and Sangers left. So at least it's 3 for 2 right now, so he's gonna go into his Sangus yet again. And I didn't expect to go for a quick attack, so I'm just gonna go with my Golurk. And then really hoping that my Golurk Galvatron can survive a knockoff. If that's the case, then that's game. Um, so anyway, <laughs> here comes the knockoff. And you know, Golurk really took in his defensive stand, really doing his best to try to take this knockoff bat. It is not enough, and sadly my Golurk will go down. And yeah, that is sadly GG, because even though my Blitzel is Garfed, it still won't outspeed a quick attack, and uh, I said Blitzel again, <laughs> Zebra Strike, even though it is Garfed, it is not able to uh, live a quick attack, and uh, Zebra Strike might have been the only real respawn for his Braviary, and uh, yeah. That really sucks because I really thought I had a game to this part, but sadly, Sangos is just too strong once it's toxic. So yeah, it's tough. It is really tough, but it was still like a very close game anyway. And Lapras, what a champ! But this Sangos was really coming through for Seabehold Care, and that is really why he wins. He got <laughs> he played a good game and come around. So great game, man. So yeah guys, it was actually really painful to watch this battle again because you know, I'm not going to blame myself because I was sick or anything like that but I was definitely not thinking the way I used to and watching this battle again I really felt that I missed a lot of good opportunities to come around. I got such a great momentum from Lapras and me not providing that, it just really sucked and I should definitely just have played it safe because when you get momentum, you should only do the safe place until you actually start losing momentum. But I lost momentum by actually playing on the regular, like I switched out a lot. And um, I basically let my opponent come into the battle again. And uh, I really didn't need to do that because, I, like I said, I got so much momentum from Lapras. But anyway, it actually turned out to be quite a fun battle because of that. And Sangos, what a poke! And that's what it is on the front page, after all. It really just broke through my team, and yeah, I was definitely not prepared for that, and I was very impressed by how strong it is. So, I hope to use one of my own soon, because that is a power I really want to try out. So anyway guys, I really want to thank all of you for watching, of course, as always, and uh, yeah, don't forget to leave a like, of course, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, and remember, sky is the limit. So, good guys, and take care, alright? Bye.